mid side. What is mid side recording? How do we do it? Uh, what are the benefits of it? What's the point of it, if there is a point? And how do we apply it to acoustic guitar in the studio? Let's uh, find out now. Right, so really very nice, quite a nice tone there. Um, part of the tone comes from the guitar, it's a very nice old Martin, but um, there's a space around it, there's a, uh, a stereo-ness to it, uh, which really feels like you're there, and uh, that's that's the mid-side bit doing its thing. Um, mid-side is a stereo technique for recording instruments, not to be confused, however, with like your traditional stereo um, mic technique where you just point two mics at something and record them both it's not that problem with this on guitar is that neither mic is in the ideal uh, position for the um, for the best guitar tone you've got that spot between where the neck meets the body and uh, your mic's there and it's just the right distance and that gives you this really lovely balanced tone you can't really do that so easily with a a stereo pair like that because one's over on the neck side and one's over on the body side so you have this kind of slightly wonky stereo image you can do like above and below and that sort of thing but again not very satisfactory for me so mid side why what's going there what's going on there right so you saw two mics and they're kind of like this well actually they were like this um this is not the mic I used, uh, because the mic I used is the one I'm recording my voice on now. It's the same kind of mic. It's a large diaphragm condenser. The Bock is, is a really nice mic. Not always the best choice LDCs for um, acoustic guitar, but it works. It works for me. I like it. So that's a mono mic. It's cardioid, so you're pointing it at your sweet spot where the neck meets the body-ish, give, give or take. Get a tone, experiment with it that's going to be the core guitar tone you then introduce the second microphone which is a figure of eight now this is the important bit now it's still a mono mic but because it picks up from the back and the front or the front and the back you're able to do some stuff with the processing uh, which i'm going to show you on the computer in a sec um, to give you some stereo width it's not facing you like it normally would it's at 90 degrees, so it's picking up there and there. It's picking up the sides rather than front and back. Um, I hope that makes sense. So you've got a mono mic and you've got the uh, figure of eight mic, and that's the blending those together is where the magic happens. An advantage of using mid side on acoustic guitar rather than a stereo pair is that you have this control over how wide it is. Um, now I know that you can reduce the panning on a stereo pair but it's not quite the same and you still don't have that center image. Um, with mid side you can for example for an introduction in a song if guitar is the only instrument you can have it nice and uh, wide you can have the sides full and you'll feel like you're really there really exciting uh, beautiful sound um, but then when the band kicks in you can kind of pull the sides back down and maybe the guitar moves over to the side or maybe it just exists in a in more in a more mono uh, less less big way and leaves room for other instruments I mean that's a really useful uh, mixing technique um, you can just blend the sides in and it doesn't do weird stuff with the stereo image it's not going to affect the mono compatibility of it either 
Um, anyway, right, let's have a little look at the logic session. I'll show you the processing and what it sounds like. So we've got the box here. This is our mid mic. It's in mono and it stays in mono. It'll be just down the center throughout. Very nice. And here's the ribbon mic. And you can hear they've got slightly different tonalities. Um, the ribbon mic is the one that we're going to be working on. So that's because it was going to provide us with our side information. So we duplicate the track, copy the audio over. Um, that would just be twice as loud. However, on the copy, we're going to add the gain plugin. We're not going to add or take away any gain, but we are going to use the phase invert button. So we flip the phase on it. And if we just listen to the uh, the ribbon mic recording and the inverted phase version, it will be silent. You see on the mixer here, both tracks are playing, but uh, you won't hear it because they're nulling exactly. What we need to do now is pan them, one left, one right. And you can hear there that there's a stereo width to it. It might not be immediately obvious, but if you compare it to the Bock, the mono mic on its own. That's the, st that's the side pair. And the magic happens when we put them both together. There's the Bock on its own, and we just blend in. And the great thing about that is that we can blend in as much or a little or as little as we like. And the easiest way to do any further processing is to either send them to a bus or um, in Logic, uh, I like to use the track stack. So we uh, will call this uh, mid side acoustic sum now we can just put any plugins we like on this track now I'm going to add a bit of reverb um, uh, Valhalla is really nice for this kind of thing it's just just a simple uh, simple one maybe let's use a plate Now, where are you hearing the plectrum? I'm hearing the picking on the right uh, ear at the moment, which would make sense if the guitarist was left-handed and you were looking at them. Um, so I'm going to just turn those around the other way. Uh, so hopefully now we'll hear the, the, the strumming slightly to the left, which is, makes a bit more sense as you look at a guitar player. Well, at least as you look at a guitar player who's not cack-handed. Right, there you go, that's it. Um, I would recommend doing any automation uh, and any other processing on the um, on the sum, on the track stack. Um, but for now, I'm gonna just go and put you over here. There it is, mid-side recording. I should just add, you don't have to use a ribbon mic. You can use, uh, there's a bunch of LDCs that have uh, polar patterns and you can switch in uh, the figure of eight. Doesn't have to be a ribbon. Uh, just happens to be what I have here. I quite like it. Um, if you've enjoyed this, give us a like, give a subscribe below. That'd be great. Uh, if you didn't, that's fine. But while you're still here, doesn't make any sense, does it really? Really recommend getting into midside if you're recording exposed guitar parts. If you're not, it's kind of a hassle because you've got three tracks instead of one. And you're also having to, uh, if you're editing comps or anything like that, obviously I never edit comps because I get it right first time. First take John, that's what they call me. But if you are editing, if you're a lesser musician, if you are editing, then uh, it's a bit more complex. Um, and you have to start thinking about EQ and the phase relationships, as I mentioned earlier. That is it from me. Thank you so much, guys. Stay safe. Lots of love. Over and out.